visiting Belhuizen Dairy in Dublin, Texas. In 2015, they added sheep, and that's why I'm here. And we're gonna talk about sheep cheese, sheep everything. So we have four that are 100% sheep milk. We have a sheep's milk Gouda, a sheep's milk cheddar. So those are just the very traditional recipes and styles on those. And then our Woolly Texas is a Gruyere style, so more of an Alpine style. And that's a natural rind, so that is really pleasant, very nutty, smooth. And then the Fat Tilt Tom is kind of a twist on a Manchego style, but it's an olive oil rub rind. So it's very earthy, it's got a flexy, very grassy. So these are very um, special cheeses, and the texture's firmer than cow's milk, and it's, they're sweeter than a cow's milk cheese as well. One that actually you hit a home that was the one that you're gonna put on the market. We didn't make cheddar until a little later, and uh, that one actually ended up being one that people really liked, and it was very good. And I think because people are familiar with cheddar cheese, and so mm -hmm. they that removed some hesitancy of trying like a sheet milk cheese, yeah. but it's cheddar. All right, let's give okay. it a try. <laughs> We're halfway there. So you have two breeds, a Lassi and a Frisian. Uh, most of our sheep are now Lacone. We did start oh, with oh. East Frisians oh, okay. uh, and a Wassies, but most of the East Frisian has been bred out. So I know that you chose the Lassi and the other one because of their hardiness. They can handle heat. Yeah, they do well in the heat and really they're they're quite a versatile breed. The Awasius are from the Middle East, from the desert, where of course there's extremes. It gets yeah. cold during the night, very hot during the day. So they do well. And uh, when it, we get into August, the Awasius will continue to milk well. It, it, the heat will affect them the least. Mm. I've been in there before. I don't think I'm going to go in today, but this is where the magic happens. <laughs> 